Weekend Nuts, DragRadioMedia.com. We've got the whole family here, bro. B&B race cars, that good looking hot rod sitting outside. Had a chance to catch up with him in between qualifying sessions here. Now, a lot to catch up with. You guys that follow that car, I know we've got a lot of guys that love following the history of that car. It's been a gorgeous car since day one. Cliff Notes versions, not too long ago, you uh, tried to deer hunt with him. Let's get everybody caught up on that. They're going, holy cow, this thing was in the woods, it was in the stands, now it's back here, it looks like it's brand new. Fill us in a little bit. Uh, Marty couldn't make it, he owns a car. Uh, he told me to take it to Huntsville. Right. Uh, we went to Huntsville, we ran career best, 451. Okay. Uh, second round against Nathan Stanton, my customer. Uh, had to run him down and fell up a little short and I hit the bump in the shutdown and went on a ride. Uh, I rode it out as far as I could in the wet grass and then um, it turned at the last minute and went in the trees. I caught a branch, luckily, not a tree, uh, just a fallen branch. Uh, we got home at 2.30 Sunday morning in the a.m. and 9 o'clock, the front cap, the hood, was all at paint shop. It was ready to go. It was, it That's was die hard right on. there. Yeah. That's die hard right there. Personal best down there, and I know we talked about just a little bit outside about some of the uh, improvements, refreshments that you did on the car. Without letting too much out of the bag, what did you guys do over the car? The car was running at uh, 3380 with Marty in it okay. um, last year. And with the rule changes in the mid frame, 85 turbo, and we could go to 3250. Uh, Marty brought the car to me in January. We put a new carbon front cap, new doors, new windows, uh, carbon dash, cut some stuff off the front end, and with me in it, and I'm 60 heavier than Marty, cars that will weigh 32 feet, no way. Um, I ain't just saying, it never fails. Yeah. All right. Somebody's getting it together. It's 87 degrees out when they're figuring yeah. it out. But anyway, the car is substantial weight gain right there, a lot of improvements to the car. You come out of the box, go to Huntsville, you do a personal mess with it, get a little fun on the, on the big end. I know this weekend it's really warm, as you can tell by the sweat coming off of me and everybody else we've been interviewing. Realistically, what would you like to see the car do? And, and a lot of people, the, the crazy part about it, we've had such a wet and cold year. This is actually the first heat a lot of teams have ran in so far this year. Yep. What are you guys looking for? We stumbled last night. We had a mid-60 tune-up in it. And we tried something and it didn't work, it bit us. Right. Um, I feel tonight if the track comes around, we should be a mid mid 50, you know, awesome. mid to high 50. Uh, we're in the shootout. Okay. Uh, Marty called me and said he wants to be in it. So He's in it, we, you're in it. Well, you're in it. Uh, That's right. So um, we're going to go up there. We're going to try to set it up to run. To rock and roll. I try. I'd rather knock the tires off than get out and run. There is nothing wrong with that. Hero tune up, folks, it's coming at you. With that said, too, we've not had a chance to talk about the shootout. Eight cars, I know yep. we're looking at 16, but that eight cars come in at $1,000. Pretty much a winner take all type of deal. So, guys, they've got a shootout within a shootout. X275, Motor Mania TV, Motor Mania TV, and Drag Radio Tell you what, just where to find the action. Back to you, Nubs.